Hey everyone, it's Tony here with Nerds Never Sleep, and it's another weekly roundup. Uh, this week, I had a lot of really cool stuff I showed off, but uh, it was definitely a surprisingly up and down kind of week uh, as far as popularity with you all. Uh, uh, I had all my usual suspects here this week, stayed on track, and had everything post on time for a change. <laughs> Um, I had Miku back for Miku Monday rather than doing My Hero Monday. Uh, for Twin Tuesday, I had a really cute Circus Rem to go with last week's Circus Ram. Uh, for Waifu Wednesday, it went a little bit different. I actually posted a poll online from what I was going to do. <clears throat> Excuse me. And um, a figure I just got recently. So I actually made a poll between Maki from Jujutsu Kaisen and Yor from Spy Family. Now, Yor obviously won by a landslide uh, on every social, on TikTok, on Insta, on YouTube, so and even on Twitter. So she won everywhere. Uh, it, it wasn't even close. For a little bit, it was close, but sh wow. So I used Yor, and surprisingly enough, uh, I think she got about a dozen views on Instagram, and I think right now on YouTube, she's only hovering at about 40 views, and that was pretty crazy, because like I said, she was actually the popular vote, and I think it has something to do, as I keep saying it with YouTube, with the algorithm, with how her costume looks, uh, because she is very exposed up here, and it seems like anytime I post a figure or a collectible, that has a bikini or anything like that, has little has exposed chest, stuff like that, it gets throttled in the view count. Uh, that happened with the bikini armor Asuna and uh, Leafa that I did too. They got like no views and tons of people really liked them, but it was just really weird because they didn't get any views. Same thing with some Rem and Rams. I've done them in their summer outfits. Whereas um, Ram last week that went with this Rem got, I don't know what it was, like 1,500 views. Her vacation mode um, figure that I did a few weeks back only got about six. I think it's something to do with them being in a bikini or being exposed or something like that. So it's really weird. But anyways, your was Waifu Wednesday. <laughs> and she was pretty cool. This is the perching figure. So it's where they're kind of sitting down. Uh, that time I got reincarnated on a Thursday, went to the boy, to Gabta, um, and I actually really liked this one. Um, and then we had, okay, I had to do a quick edit because I kind of had a sneezing fit there. <laughs> but for Figure Friday, became Fate Friday again this week, and we had, um, oh my god, I always butcher her name. It's uh, Skahawk, I believe. <laughs> it's like an old... Celtic name. Uh, she's one of the Lancers from the Fate series, and she just looks so badass. So, really liked this one a lot. And then for our Saturday figure, I did a little duo of these two, well, almost knocked me over, these two super, super adorable Ben Presto uh, WCF Nezuko figures. And this is from the newer set that has a bunch of different, I guess, the different moods of Nezuko, you could call it, a bunch of different kind of classic scenes that she's memed about a lot of the time, too. So in this case, I had the bunny, little bunny, where she was running around in the movie following Inosuke in his dream. Uh, that was actually my favorite part of that movie. Um, and then the very young, like, child version uh, before she was turned into a demon. So these two little ones blew up <laughs> everywhere I put them, except for, of course, Instagram and Facebook, because they suck. I'm going to tell you guys, meta sucks. I'm about this close to just dropping both those platforms off of the socials because they're just 
they're dead zones and I don't know what's going on. They keep demanding boosts and money and this and that and the other thing. And I'm not, I'm, I'm not paying money to boost my posts. Um, it's just not doing that. So over the course of the next few months, if I don't figure out a way to get myself back into the algorithm, I might drop off on YouTube and Facebook for a little while because they are officially just dead zones. These, I think they're at 1.4K views on YouTube and on Instagram, I think they're at about 50. Whereas typically super cute Nezikos would get 6,000 views on Instagram. Uh, now, now they get nothing. So something's going on with the algorithm. I don't know. It hates me now. <laughs> and uh, I'm going to try to figure it out. So I may start posting at different times of the day to see if it helps me in the algorithm. And I might just say, screw it and slow down my posting on those socials altogether. But I'm just focus on YouTube and TikTok, which are cons constantly, ugh, consistently gaining, um, you know, momentum. So we'll see. But that was all of the figures for this week. Again, I did not miss a day. So I was pretty proud of that. And uh, yeah, I'm going to let you guys come over. and I'm going to show you every one of these figures and give you the closer look. See what you guys think.
All right, so that was your closer look at all the figures I highlighted this past week. Again, they were all really, really cool. I know Miku was definitely um, commented on a lot about how realistic her her suit and her shoes looked, and they really did a good job with those as well. And this is actually an older piece. She's at least three years old now. So um, I got a lot of people messaging me about Rem, uh, even though she did not get a lot of views. I did get a lot of people messaging asking if this is supposed to be a Harley, you know, Harley Quinn DC inspired thing. And I'm like, no, it's just she's a Harlequin in the circus to go with uh, Ram's ringmaster kind of look. So, uh, yeah, clearing that all up for you guys. This is not a Harley Quinn DC comic, you know, inspired outfit. So it's just Rem as a Harlequin. So. Normally at this point, I give you guys kind of my picks for the week of what my favorites were, and I'm going to leave these right here this week because the uh, Skahawk here is just gorgeous, and she just she came out so damn good that she's got to remain up top for me, and for honorable mentions, I, I got to put the super adorable Nezuko's down there because... These little ones came out so freaking cute. I love the little bunny one. She's just adorable. So these two are going to be my honorable mention. And uh, yeah, that's my picks for this week. And I know, again, she didn't really perform very well either. And it's probably due to the costume. But I'm trying to hold off a sneeze. <clears throat> but yeah, that's it for this week's weekly roundup. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm trying to keep it short this week because I was doing the hard work and I am definitely uh, feeling it a little bit, sneezing up storm. So uh, that's it for this weekly roundup. Again, thank you guys for watching. If you guys enjoy it, click the like button, the share button, the subscribe button, all the buttons, click them all. Even this dislike button, I don't care. Doesn't matter, gets engagement, gets me in the algorithm still. And uh, if you are following on the other socials, um, definitely interact with them. Uh, drop DMs, drop messages, whatever, comments. Uh, I'm always responding to all the comments, so I appreciate all that. And uh, yeah, stay tuned for some more unboxings. If you saw this weekend, I did pick up Spiral from the Iron Studios X-Men line, so I'm kind of excited. I think I want to open her next and kind of push the other ones back again. But it's going to be between her and Magic this week for my Iron Studios unboxing. As well as, I'm probably going to be doing three pop-up parades this week because I did miss doing Queen from Persona last week. I only managed to do one unboxing. so But I tried to do three, so there's a possibility of four unboxing videos dropping this week. Um, we'll see. Fingers crossed. So... That's it for your updates, and uh, yeah, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, everyone.